Fish in a Jar presents the best movies of 2013. Hello everyone, and welcome to the worst show on the internet. And that before I begin my actual reviews, I think that the best way to start the new channel would be to have a look back at all the movies that we had last year. How are we going to look back? It's just on your head. But that's another episode. And let's not waste any more time because this video is already two months to do. Hold on to your seats, hold on to your hats, because today we're going to be looking at the best movies of 2013. Now action movies are kind of a mixed bag for me, mostly because they're pretty hard to take seriously, some of them are just there to simply entertain you, while others actually try to make you stop and think for a bit, and there are those that just don't give a shit at all. But as far as choosing which one was the best, The Hunger Games Catching Fire was going to be a good example of this genre until Summer Entertainment released something that caught my attention and quite literally blew shit up, and which stars Bruce Willis, John Malkovich and Anthony Hopkins. You know you're going to have a blast. And the winner for the best action movie of 2013 is... Show me something. In my opinion, crime flicks are kind of a lost genre. From what I've seen, there's only one film of this kind that came out last year, so it kind of wins by default. And even though it's a black comedy, the idea still revolves around the theme of crime. And quite conventionally, one of these crimes is having Leonardo DiCaprio's Oscar stolen from him. Twice. And the winner from the best crime flick of 2013 is... Honey, this isn't, un this isn't funny. You gotta untie me, buddy. I can't untie you. The captain tied you up. He almost fucking tasered you. Why? Why? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Best drama. Now, in terms of dramas based on novels, I found this one almost as good as To Kill a Mockingbird. And the winner for the best drama of 2013 is... If I could just get back to the star. If I could just get back to the star, I could find it again some vision of himself that he had put into loving Daisy. Best horror movie. Horror movies, or as they're called now, jump scare entertainment, have become some of the worst of its kind, getting worse and worse as time goes by. And we haven't had a truly great horror movie since... Himalayan 4. With the exception of other horror movies of recent times, such as Sinister, Cabin in the Woods, and The Woman in Black, which I consider to be really good. Insidious was... Alright, it was only until the director of Saw and Insidious came out with this new piece of work, that proved to me that instead of being garbage, it made me throw my hands up, slump back into my chair, and say, Finally, a horror movie done right! And the winner for the best horror movie of 2013 is... Something awful happened here, Ed. What is it? Whatever Lorraine sees, feels, touches, it takes a toll on her. A little piece each time. You have a lot of spirits in here. 
But there's one that I'm most worried about because it is so hateful. Look what she made me do. <gasps> Best comedy. After six years of waiting, the Three Flavors Cornetto Trilogy has finally been complete. It is the funniest movie of last year and the best comedy of last year. And if you don't have this movie ready, you, you should get it now. In fact, I'm gonna get it right now. Bam, I got it. And the winner for the best comedy of 2013 is... Have you got any plans for dinner at all? Tonight, we will be partaking of a liquid repast as we wend our way up the Golden Mile. Commencing with an inaugural tankard in the first post, then onto the old familiar, the famous cock, the cross hands, the good companions, the trusty servant, the two-headed dog, the mermaid, the beehive, the king's head, and the hole in the wall for a measure of the same. All before the last bittersweet pint in that most fateful terminus, the world's end. Leave a light on, good lady, for though we may return with a twinkle in our eyes, we will in truth be blind. Drunk. was a little hard to decide on because there were three movies I had to choose from. We had The Ender's Game, the comeback sequel of Star Trek Into Darkness, with Warner Brothers, and the man who directed Pan's Labyrinth and Hellboy. You could only expect something truly awesome. And the winner for the best sci-fi movie of 2013 is... We've chosen to believe in each other. The day we face the monsters that are at our door, in the apocalypse! What are you? I'm Batman. Now I can cheat on this one because it's parts 1 and 2 of the same movie which came out in 2012 and 2013 but both of these parts came out last year in a DVD combo pack. So it counts, right? And the winner for the best comic book movie of 2013 is... <laughs> <laughs> Best animated movie. Animation is my all time favorite genre, as you can see. And who else would throw away the traditional 2D animation which they've perfected since 1937? Disney. And that's why there are two nominees on this list. One, because Disney isn't the only animation company in the world. And two, there are two films that cover both formats of 3D and 2D animation equally well. And the winners of the best animated movie of 2013 are... Moi j'ai faim. Best superhero movie. After all this time. Now you come to visit me, brother. Why? To mock. I need your help. Best banana impersonator. Woo! 
and the winner is... Well, Peter Jackson has done it again, and I don't care what people say about it, it's brilliant and captivating. The only critical hole this movie had is the one on Smog's belly. And the winner for the best fantasy movie of 2013 is... Now I don't know about you guys, but I think we had a pretty moderate selection of movies last year. But which one is the best out of them all? Wrath? Greed? Sloth? Pride? Lust? Envy? Gluttony? That guy? Get on with it! Yes! Get on with it! And the winner is... Well, now that that's over with. Thanks for watching.